Hey guys, it's Kirk Kennedy back with video 22, which are dealing with viruses. Now, when we think about viruses, you know, we want to know exactly what is a virus. Well, if I were to draw you a typical virus, a typical virus is going to have some type of protein coat, this protection of the virus, and within it, it's going to have a DNA or an RNA inside of it. So that's what a typical virus will, ha will be like. And what a virus will do will infect the living cell and inject that DNA or RNA into the living cell, and the living cell will then reproduce the virus for it. Now, I put down here, viruses reproduce by infecting living cells, and a lot of people say that they're non-living because they cannot reproduce on their own. They need other cells to reproduce. So remember that point. When we talk about diseases caused by bacteria and viruses, we've got to realize that bacteria and viruses are around us everywhere in nature. And anything that causes a disease is called a pathogen. So there are several ways in which bacteria can act as pathogens. They can either damage the cell directly, actually cause the cell to be destroyed, or they can release a toxin or poison that would cause the cell to be affected in some way. Now, an example of these you've probably had before, strep throat definitely most of you have had. Strep throat is caused by bacteria and we often can see it with these patchy white spots in the back of our throat. Diphtheria and tuberculosis would be other ones, TB as someone likes to call it. Um, but when we talk about bacterial diseases, vaccines can prevent bacterial diseases by injecting a weakened form of the virus into your body. So now let me explain how, bacteria, how, how vaccines work. What happens is when you get a shot, then they actually inject a weakened form of either the bacteria or the virus into your body, and then your body defeats that, so and it makes memory cells so that next time it sees it, it's able to knock it out very, very quickly. Now, usually our body defeats things by producing antibiotics. Now, if you'll notice the definition of antibiotic, it's a compound that blocks the growth and reproduction of bacteria. Now, that's kind of strange. It doesn't say viruses, simply bacteria. Antibiotics only work on bacteria. So that's important when we go to the next one. If you turn to page 489 in your book, there's a lot of common viral diseases, and I'd recommend you doing that because realize that every disease you see on this page cannot be treated by antibiotics. But if you were to go to the doctor, probably the first thing they would do is give you an antibiotic shot. Now, why is that? If antibiotics are not going to affect these viral diseases, why would they give you a shot? Well, the answer is that they give you a shot because it prevents you from getting, hopefully getting sick with anything else while your body's fighting off this virus. Uh, now, the only effective way to, affect, to control viral diseases is through vaccines. You know, uh, your parents probably have a small round circle on one of their shoulders of where they got the smallpox vaccination whenever they were younger. They actually were given a case of the smallpox, just in a very weakened form, in which their body was able to fight it off. Their body made um, antibodies for it, and then they were able to fight it off if they ever came in the presence of it. You know, at one time it was believed that smallpox had been eradicated from the earth, but it is still around today, so uh, we've not totally eradicated it. Now, I hope that gives you a brief interview, uh, brief uh, understanding of viruses, and I will talk to you soon.